I'm looking for passion fruit. There's often passion fruit that falls from the hill, and I love passion fruit. <laughs> love passion fruit. When I was growing up, there was an elder in mi barrio, Don Franco. He milked my family's cow and harvested fruits and vegetables around my parents' house. I loved following him around. I always had a million questions. Why do chickens love earthworms? Why do plants grow at certain times of the year? Why, how could he predict when it was going to rain even if there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Why, why, why? He hadn't finished elementary school, but he knew so much about nature. I didn't know it then, but Don Franco was the first scientist I ever met. Qué lindo. Anda para el carajo. Las pilas en las vientos ya está allá abajo. Son 2700. No. Ay, qué lindo se ve. Vivo y en directo desde el Centro de Convenciones en Miramar. Eh, durante la Convención Nacional de Diversidad en Ciencias, Tecnología, Ingeniería y Matemática de la organización SACNAS. ¿Qué rayos es SACNAS? I am in Puerto Rico for the annual conference of SACNAS, the Society for Advancement of Chicanos, Hispanics, and Native Americans in Science. We would see about 4,000 different lipids. She felt unable to do her art. Here, you can experience science and all of its diversity. Not only of who does science. Engineer models of disease, but to study tropical infections. like But how it should be done. That led me towards ecology and evolutionary biology. My tribe, my family invested in me. Sagnas is familia, a celebration of science, culture, and community. A place of belonging. Cuando yo vine aquí por primera vez, fue la primera vez en que yo me sentí que yo podía ser yo. Cuando tú eres alguien que no que pertenece a estas comunidades que han sido marginadas en la ciencia, no es inusual llegar a un lugar súper prestigioso como Harvard, que no mm -hmm. solamente es prestigioso, pero es bien blanco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eh, no es inusual uno sentirse como que no pertenece. As a kid, I loved science. But I never thought I could be a scientist. I didn't have any scientific role models until I met my college biology professor. She encouraged me to try research. And after just one month in a lab, I was hooked. I graduated and moved to continue doing research, first at MIT and then Harvard. But everything in Boston was different. The big city, the weather, and of course, the language. I suddenly had to translate everything I said or wrote into English. But I feel like I also had to translate who I was as a person. I was always proud to be a Puerto Rican scientist, but now where I came from seemed irrelevant. 
I longed to reconcile my identities with what I wanted to do. I figured if I focused on my research and became a professor, I could eventually return to do science in Puerto Rico. But then, I met Daniel Colón Ramos. A fellow Boricua who had just started a fledgling online community connecting people who have an interest in science and Puerto Rico. I eagerly volunteered, starting with writing about science for a Puerto Rican newspaper. I learned that I love communicating science. Looking back, the serendipity of meeting Daniel changed my life forever. Para nosotros es bien valioso escuchar estas cosas porque no, ya yo estoy segura que ya estamos pensando que cómo podemos integrar esto. <laughs> Today, my science work is no longer in a lab. It's about creating other spaces to exchange knowledge, especially with people whose perspectives have been excluded from the process of science. Sí, este, muy importante la capacitación. Sí, importante compartirlo. Sí sabemos que esto ha hecho la diferencia en nuestras comunidades, pero todavía yo no lo puedo como verlo totalmente insertado la ciencia en el trabajo comunitario. Mi propósito no es que tú llegues ahí si eso no es lo que es para ti. No, o sea, para mí el propósito es que la ciencia te sirva de la forma en que te sirve a ti, de tus necesidades y las necesidades y prioridades de tu comunidad. Entonces, I've been collaborating with these leaders in Puerto Rico to reimagine how science can serve communities. It's been hard at times, but together we've changed attitudes around vaccination developed strategies for responding to misinformation, and built new foundations for mutual understanding. Yo nunca vi la ciencia, nunca me vi en la ciencia. Eh, ni en la escuela, ni en los libros, ni en los medios, ni en ningún sitio. Si hay algo que me da satisfacción es saber que parte del, del trabajo y del, del camino que llevamos construyendo y que vamos a seguir construyendo es eso. Es que nuestra ciencia sea accesible para Todos los puertorriqueños y puertorriqueñas. Returning to Puerto Rico, it feels like my journey has come full circle. I no longer translate myself because I never should have. I speak loud and with my hands. I hug and kiss people to say hello, even strangers. Instead of suppressing my identities, I lead with them. begin to tell you how excited I am to be here with all of you in my Borinquen Bella, my homeland. I was born and raised on this archipelago, in the sector Pachanga del Barrio Maricao de Vega Alta in a rural working class community where raising animals and growing our food was a way of life, and elders knew what herb could calm an itch or relieve a stomach ache. I am a scientist, gracias a mi barrio, a mi gente. Thanks to my community and my people. Their lessons guide me. They ground me. They are home. <laughs> <laughs>